Hey, what is going on, NFL family? We are back with another week of predictions. Last week, we ended up actually going 10-5. and five. I thought it was going to be way worse as we were watching the games. We missed uh, <laughs> we missed pretty big on some, but that's okay. Uh, so our record is 58-32 for the year. Still pretty good. And uh, more interesting games this week. Um, Yeah, some interesting games. Like uh, the Broncos at the Cardinals on Thursday night. Now, we, we know that the Cardinals aren't very good. And the Broncos, they're not bad. They're not bad. But at what point, like, at some point, I feel like I need to pick the Cardinals to win. I'm just, I'm not comfortable doing that yet. Not against Denver. I'm going to take Denver. We're going to take Denver. Now, Titans at the Chargers. This is this is the game the Titans w- would win. Uh, we have picked them wrong every week. Every week in the Titans game, we've we've got it wrong so far. Uh, he gets shut out at home to Baltimore, and now you got to travel across the country and play one of the hottest offenses in the league. I don't think so. Give me the Chargers. Texans. At Jaguars, now Jacksonville obviously got their ass kicked by Dallas last week, which was surprising. Uh, Maybe Jacksonville's a little overrated. Um, And Houston needed essentially (laughs) a last-second play to beat the Bills. So I think we have two teams which aren't really as good as we would think, maybe. Uh, But because of it, I'll I'll take the Jags. I think the Jags are the better team. Uh, Panthers at Eagles. This this is a good game. This is a really good game. Very, very even game. You've got a couple of teams who you want to say are, are great. But I don't know. I still don't know. Like I, If the Panthers beat the Redskins last week, I would have really, like, geez, the Panthers are rolling. But they lost. And then they play the Eagles. And the Eagles not been the best team, especially for what we thought they would be, coming off the Super Bowl, getting Wentz back. Oh, the Eagles. Uh, that's tough, but I – give me Wentz at home. Give me the Eagles. Vikings at Jets. This has the makings of a trap game. It really does. It really, really does. But I have no clue on earth who is going to cover Thielen and Diggs. So just give me the Vikings. Uh, Pats at Bears. Another very, very interesting game. The Bears couldn't get it done versus Miami. Despite all things, Miami with Brock Osweiler. Belichick is going to prepare for Trubisky. Obviously. Khalil Mack is going to cause havoc. Khalil Mack is the exact type of player that gives... Brady, all the problems in the world. Um, And it's in Chicago. But I don't think that really matters. So I'm going to take the Patriots. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Bears pull it out. Now, Bills at Colts. As two teams are not good. (laughs) So I flipped a coin. And uh, I'm going with the home team. We're taking the Colts. They've got a better quarterback. Now the Browns at the Bucks. Jameis back at the helm. Jameis looked good last week against Atlanta. Uh, he really did. And the Bucks defense is horrible, <laughs> just horrible. But the Browns can't catch balls anyway. So does it really matter? I don't know. The Bucks offense is really, really good, honestly. Uh, but I think that the Browns defense has enough. They have enough. To actually cause stuff, and I Baker versus Jameis. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Browns. I'm gonna take the Browns. Lions at Dolphins. Now, of course, I'm making this prediction at this time, not knowing if Tannehill's gonna be back or not. But this again, this screams like, well, the Dolphins beat the Bears. Obviously, they'll beat the Lions. I don't think so. I think the Lions are gonna take this game on the road. I think the Lions win. Uh, Saints at Ravens. I think the Saints are top three top five team right now um i know i i really haven't shown a lot of respect for baltimore 
But I'll admit I haven't really watched them play either, despite having Sunday ticket. So I I don't like the Saints, but I'm picking the Saints. Give me the Saints. <sighs> Rivalry game, Cowboys and Redskins. Oh, my God. This is a classic. It's always a classic. I love watching these games. Um, I, I, I lived in Virginia for like two years, so I've got a slight tie to the Redskins. Um, Dallas surprised me last week, and honestly, so did Washington. So in a division game like this, I like to go with the home team when I think that they're pretty even, so I'll take the Redskins. But I damn don't be surprised if the Cowboys pull this off. Now Rams at 49ers. And the 49ers played, played Green Bay really good, but I don't think Green Bay is as good as we thought they were. Honestly, they're not. The Rams are as good as we thought they were. Give me the Rams. Bengals at Chiefs. This is another, oh, God, this is another good game. Can the Bengals stop Mahomes? Even the Patriots couldn't stop Mahomes, but the problem is that the Chiefs couldn't stop Brady either. Can the Chiefs stop Andy Dalton long enough? Probably. I'll take the Chiefs. And then final, Monday Night Football Giants at the Falcons. I believe I will be at this game. I think. Um, And this game scares me. Uh, It really does. Saquon may have 200, 250 total yards this game. He he really might. Uh, But Matt Ryan is, is playing unbelievable. The Giants defense is really not that good. I think that we force the Giants enough into passing, and then their offensive line crumbles, and the Falcons come away with like a 42-30 to 30 win. Something like that. So those are my picks this week. Uh, hopefully we can stay trending well. If not, well, it's just picks. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm out. Peace.